Hi, good morning everyone. It's uh, around 5 a.m. early in the morning and I am going to deliver a lecture on a topic. It is village life or atmosphere. As usual, I am present here and I hope that's, that you will be enjoying this video very well. If you think this video is very valuable for you, you can carry forward this video for others. As usual, I have also written some points of village life and atmosphere. I know that some of you would be knowing more than it and you can also describe other features of the village life and atmosphere. To my own level, I try to write down all the points and I am going to start describing one after another points as far as this is possible for me. Before going delve deep into village life, to know the deep meaning of the village life and atmosphere, we need to know what is the meaning of the village life and atmosphere. At first, I will give you some glimpse of village life. You all of us know that what is the village life. Nowadays, modern children, they have left their village they are living in the city area with their parents, with their siblings and uh, they are completely cut away from the village life. Sometimes it is the time of the summer vacation, winter vacation, other vacations. They have the golden opportunity to visit their hometown. Many of them still don't know that it is their motherland where they go and from there they again come back. Some of the parents try to convince them that this is the village where I was brought up, where I was born, where your grandfather and grandmothers and forefathers were born and they were brought up. Many of the children, they don't have the seriousness about their village life and mother tongue. The children think that village life is still inferior to the city life because in city they have the advantages and uh, they have the uh, facilities of all the things they don't find still in the village. The children they live in the city area they think themselves that still village life is completely backward in comparison to the city life. But I don't want to just compare here more and more about that. The children, they are born in the 21st century. This is uh, 2000 after and they have been living in the city area since their childhood and they have never been accustomed to the village life. They can never experience the village life uh, seriously and uh, uh, they would have a lot of confusion why do the people still live in the village what do they get why how are my father how are my mothers how are my uh, my grandfather grandmother and great grandfather how have they been surviving in the village how can they uh, live the, uh, their village without the facilities of all the things not found in the village Still in India, there are several villages. They are far and wide from the blocks and the city chains. There's problem, there's the lackness of the amenities, medical facilities and high level of educational facilities. The people somehow are trying to manage their lifestyles over there. But they are expecting with their children, they, they, have, they, would, they should have the better quality of education and the lifestyle. So without wasting the time, I can also deliver a lecture more and more about that. I am just going to start about what, what is the meaning of at first village life. Village life means that what is completely connected to the land of the village. You think of the village, you think of the people of the village, of the children of the village, of all the religious ceremonies or all the things they are being performed in the village, you think that is called village life. You always try to mingle away, mingle up with those they are trying to uh, 
uh, they are trying to contribute to themselves in the village life that might be the marriage that might be any uh, year's uh, festival and they want to perform all the deed there all the uh, religious ceremonies or rites there with shoulder to shoulder so this is the village life more than that in addition to that you can also explain what is the village life but i am just going to explain the points i have written down on the whiteboard so let's start understanding each and every point here seriously so extensively i am going to now explain them first point is peacefulness you all would knowing that in the village there is peace there is not so much uh, noise of the vehicles that increases pop pollution level in the city area and we have to face we have to uh, we have uh, to suffer from several uh, lungs problem heart problem and internal organs of the body are not safe and sound due to that many of us have to suffer a lot of uh, migration problem whenever we shift from village to city area we don't live in the city peacefully but in the village you can live there peacefully anywhere you can go if you go away from your village to other places you can live there peacefully even if you change from one village to another village you want to go near about village there you can also have the peacefulness there you can have the two friends only you can sit you can enjoy and you can uh, share your pain and pleasure with him her so there is a peace in the village second one is that is tranquility what is the meaning of the tranquility tranquility means that you can go or stay in a very secluded environment secluded atmosphere and you can close your both eyes you can start thinking for a long time and i don't think except birds some animals you would have a little bit sound little bit voice of other things there you find so you can stay there in tranquility tranquility is more powerful than peacefulness if you are the student of the english literature you would be very familiar with this word and you would be knowing that this word has been seriously used extensively used by one of the romantic a uh, poet whose name was william wordsworth so tranquility can be adopted in the village area or where there is the complete peacefulness you can stay there you can enjoy there and you can just close your eyes for long time next one third is that is harmoniousness harmoniousness is a word that has been taken from harmony you can live with all castes of the people there in the village the people or the person who don't think that there is the difference on the name of the caste on the name of the race there in the village they try to live happily with shoulder to shoulder with them whenever there is a marriage function or there is any annual function or any years function festival then you have the right to include all uh, uh, castes of the people they are living in the village still there is the prevalence of the casteism in the village but day after day due to the high level of education now the children of the modern generation are trying to uh, vanish the caste system from the village some castes they live in the village 
they uh, have been not uh, given the proper right to stay in a religious ceremony because uh, we also don't go to their religious ceremony and we don't perform the same right or deed over there but it doesn't mean that harmoniousness is not intact it is not strong over there it's our old generation feeling and the same has been percolated to the present generation it has been taken from old to new and its feeling is still prevalent in the society so sometimes it is seen that there is a, a sometimes not a, a, a sound relationship or sound harmoniousness among all the castes in the village but the person who believes that the human is human he she always try to bring those persons with them and wants to have the loves and love and affection but there are some betrayers they live in the village they don't feel they don't believe in the harmoniousness and they want to keep up stay away from other castes of the people or they want to exclude some castes they are not favor of them so i don't want to go deep into them so let's start another point here fourth is greenery yeah due to greenery there is less pollution due to the less number of vehicles running on the road plying on the road there is less number less pollution in the village less pollution leads to less disease less illness and you have invigorated uh, atmosphere over there you don't have to suffer from organs failure you don't have to suffer from internal organ problem like lungs like heart and other parts of the body we have inside our body so we can say here that due to greenery we have to not suffer from all kinds of the diseases we have to suffer in the city area or where there are not uh, ex extended greeneries and uh, but the people have to suffer there we know that in the city we get up late in the morning and we go to our job from there we come back late at night again we sleep and we don't get up early in the morning we have to uh, get up late in the morning and we don't enjoy this greenery but in the village what happens that whenever you get up whether you get up late early in the morning you will have the fresh uh, uh, fresh air from the leaves from stems of the trees plants and there you can enjoy there are varieties of the plants uh, but trees over there like the mangoes like uh, guavas like papaya like uh, pomegranate you can take the fruit there like uh, uh, like uh, blackberry uh, bamboos uh, uh, the uh, people tree and uh, banyan tree and there are many more other trees you can find over there that contribute in the greenery in the village and the people uh, feel refreshment though they have to oh, work hard uh, intensely in the village they feel refreshment early in the morning or whenever they start from their horses to the fields to the gardens or they sit there they enjoy such greenery next one is that is fifth intact tradition intact tradition means many person or many people they uh, migrated from a village to city area many of them forgotten their culture their tradition now they don't, don't want to follow strictly the norms the rules their forefathers their parents their father mother or their uh, my great grandfather great grandmother or old generation followed they are so busy in the city life that they don't think that this is this festival today tomorrow is that festival we have to 
perform this festival today we have to observe a fast today it's thursday it's the uh, it's the time of the observing fast they don't believe strictly in the city but in the village this old tradition is still prevalent still it is survived it does not have so much uh, uh, pressure uh, due to um, overloading of jobs overloading of uh, uh, time and you don't you don't feel that you don't have the sphere of time to observe the fast to perform your religious activities or ceremonies or whatever uh, has been transmitted from the old generation to the new so here in the a village you can find out that still the tradition is intact it is still alive and uh, old generation uh, people they have been living in the village they are trying to transmit the same ideas thinking lifestyles to the modern generation boys girls they have been living since their childhood due to the science and technologies and their advancement in the village some boys and girls they put also the questions from the old generation can father can you tell me why do you do this thing why do you worship this god why do you worship that god science has proved that there is only one god in the world and such children are being answered peacefully happily with logic by the great grandfathers and mothers and old generation persons there they have been living in the village so they are trying to keep alive the old tradition of the village and these uh, they don't let these young generations uh, just uh, stay away from performing all the religious rites performances performed in the village next six days religious rites funerals activities now it is also connected to the upper one but it is a little bit different from one here because uh, when a person uh, they they, uh, they uh, sometimes go from city to village area when they see uh, in the temple uh, yard or somewhere else inside the temple uh, they find the congregation or the crowd of the men and women they are enchanting the name of the god and goddess some of them keep on reciting the name of uh, reciting the um, uh, several uh, scriptures there uh, that might be on different god and goddess such city person sometimes are not so much interested they don't show interest but still the people they live in the village they keep on practicing if they go to the temple early in the morning uh, after having bath without having breakfast some of them even don't drink water before worshiping the god goddess they think themselves it's better to have worshiping the god than having the breakfast or to drink a glass of water many of them are so much pious so much sacred that they think themselves that it is the way to have the salvation from this earth to directly heaven and with the view of that with the intention of that they still keep on aliving such kind of process in the village but there's so much barrier between the city and the village what happens that i already told you when any city boys and girls they start living in the village uh, but the congregation of the men and women they are found in the village in the temples near about temples or somewhere in their yard or in their house they keep on enchanting evening arti or something else there but, but such boys and girls they feel some somewhat awkward what's going on in the village the people are so much engaged absorbed themselves in performing religious rites so in the same way here we are talking about funeral activities when someone dies in the village what happens in the city you know all the things but the people try to now perform the same rites uh, 
similarly to the village but what happens that all the uh, the same kind of the glimpse is not found there in the in, in the city the dead body is being taken to the nearest crematorium they are uh, or burial ground somewhere else or they are just uh, being cremated over there they are buried somewhere else but the glimpse or the fragrance of the village is completely absent and you can't find here that the same thing can be found there in comparison to the village in the village when someone dies then he she is being cremated or buried according to their culture according to the religion and all the people from whole the village the entire village they uh, participate in this uh, rite with shoulder to shoulder and uh, from the first day of the death to the last day of the all activities funeral rites uh, they uh, perform everything um, everything uh, with shoulder to shoulder and uh, they think that it is not the pain of one person but also for everyone still it is survived in the village still it is prevalent in the village but in the city it it is not prevalent if someone's father someone's mother someone's relative dies then one day they will go with you but from second day the feeling emotion completely fade away they don't have the same feeling as the village people has a feeling the people they, they have been living in the village they have the extensive feeling emotions and sometimes you may have seen that some old men and women they have been living in the village they have not only sympathy they have empathy whenever you start crying due to some dead body they also start crying with you and they, their numbers are many more in the village because they have been living in the village since their childhood they went to school they passed their life lifestyles they went to the garden they read they did all the activities during their life with those friends uh, out of which someone has died today and this is why uh, in the village the emotion and feeling is not seen faded away in comparison to city area seven the unity of all ages sometimes you would have seen that whether it is 10 years old child 11 years old 30 years old person 45 years old they sit in a group they make a round table group and they start talking on some issues what happens that youngsters and such tender boys teenagers boys they sit silently they just keep on smiling and sometimes they giggle they chuckle they smile at others they look at others faces they uh, just stare at someone's but the senior one they are sitting in this round table they keep on discussing on some serious issues that is happening in the village and they are trying to carry forward to each and every family members in the village what happens as a consequence of that even the teenagers or the young generations boys or children they know how to do what to do when to do and they carry forward these messages to their father and mother to their respective houses eight number the feeling of own motherland and mother tongue whenever you are in the village if you have been living for a long time in the village then you would have the feeling that you, you can't have the same mother tongue or motherland as you have in the village whether you're living in usa whether you live in england or whether you live in any developed country they are in the world but if you have lived in the village for a long time then you have the feeling that oh my god i wish i were in my village the person who is in england presently the person who is in usa presently if she is unable to uh, uh, return back from there to their native towns uh, or, and they have lived in the village for a long time earlier before their job before 
the establishment there then they feel like this oh wish i wish i were in the village my friend is no more in the village he has died in the village though he she has been earning there very much he she has the higher quality of education in such countries they have the feeling to have the companionship with those friends they have uh, passed their childhood or their adolescent ages so you can see here that mother tongue and motherland is very important for such persons mother tongue that is very sweet that is very melodious and sometimes some person are spellbound listening to the mother tongue though you are much successful in the village after learning several other worldly languages for the purpose of your own increment of the salary of your own lifestyle for your personality development but your mother tongue is so much sweet in such places that the people are completely astounded while listening to your mother tongue sometimes it is seen that the person who are from the same native town all of a sudden if you encounter in your life you feel that would i have been in the village why should why would i have i came back from the village to earn money bread here so this is the feeling of the mother tongue and mother land ninth is advantages though i have already explained in above uh, my, my eight parts here but now at last i will explain advantages and the last one that would be disadvantages advantages are that if you are in the village however hard you have your life in the village but you can survive in the village you can still don't feel uh, alone in the village you have the society you have the family members you have the relatives and they can cooperate you even in the need of r even when you have uh, uh, you are in the lurch of r or they don't leave uh, in the uh, you in the lurch if your friends your relatives or the person who are with you uh, you with you have the relationship uh, you have the intact relationship you have the intact relatives and they have uh, 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 a good uh, communication with you they will be present always for your service and they can serve you in the need of our they can also take you away to the hospital to the places where you are required to get checked up and you won't feel you have not been living in the city because of such persons or your relatives they are in the village second one advantages is that the people are still connected to their motherland to their mother tongue now they don't feel that uh, uh, they they have forgotten they have destroyed the uh, the culture of the village and they still want to keep alive the culture all the activities they are being performed in the village and they teach their own children how to perform all these activities in the village next advantage is in the village is that if they live in the village their life is longer than in the city area i have already explained in the above part here because there is not so much stress in the village in comparison comparison to city though in the city we earn much but we don't have the peace tranquility as i have already explained to you myself here here we have seen that in the villages though we have the less income we can stay there we can live there peacefully and we won't have to suffer from serious consequences dire consequences we don't have to think for tomorrow we know that uh, we walk in the field we walk we have the gardens we have uh, our uh, uh, own land over there and we we have we walk hard in such fields uh, uh, hoping expecting in future we would have the outcome from the fields and we would just uh, survive our life somehow second one is the disadvantages that which is last point of this now what is the meaning of the disadvantages disadvantages means that i will make separate videos on this 
at first I will make I will separate city life and village life and then I will just write down on the political views of the village life. The politics in the village not on the village but also on the country level is on the top level. Here we can see that the corruption is on the, at climax. But in the village it is too much. Why? Because the people they have been living in the village most of them are unknown about their right. They don't know the constitution properly. They don't know the right to liberty, right, uh, right to expression, right to speech. And they keep uh, 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 themselves uh, to remain quiet in the village. They don't want to speak a little word, little word against any uh, corrupted leader they are found uh, in, in the village soil. Such leaders, they take advantage of these, these gentle persons they have been living in the village. They, they, they try to convince them that if I am in the power this year, then I will try to change the outlines, uh, uh, outlines and the map of the village. <laughs> That's very ridiculous to listen, but it happens. At the time of the election, there's a big promise, there's a Mm, there's an immense uh, uh, zeal by these leaders they want to show and express among their people. They start going door to door, just folding their hands like this, just doing like this. They go to the door to door, uh, house to house, start uh, distributing their pamphlets, <laughs> uh, thinking uh, they would uh, have the greatest number of votes in comparison to other person they have been uh, against me. So what happens here that these gentle person they have been living in the village mostly the lower caste people they are not educated they don't have the much qualification or they are still unaware of the worldly lifestyle. Uh, they don't think they are being exploited or their rights are being taken away by such corrupted leaders. They don't think before casting the vote, they cast the vote only on the name of some few money and some other things. So if they just they are given a little money, they are uh, they are enticed on the name of some houses, some uh, kind of the uh, things they are being they, they 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 will be managed in the future or some other plans issued by the government of India or state government. So they are being enticed that if there is any plan, they would be just told and they can take advantage completely with the plan. But he must be voted. If he, she is not power, then all the things will be in vain and there would be not, not much benefit. So here, I have already explained here the 10 parts. In other parts of the videos, I will try to explain deeply about these advantages and disadvantages. I would also take the political nature of the villages in our country, mostly. I will also include some villages I have seen with my naked eyes, the condition there in that video. I hope you would have enjoyed all these 10 parts of the village life atmosphere. I know you would be knowing more than me and beyond these 10 points because there are so much learned man and scholar in the world they have been living in india and in other parts of the world and they can express according to their own culture whatever i have seen with my naked eyes and i have experienced throughout my life i tried to put down on this whiteboard and started explaining one after another but you can explain them according to your own culture if you don't live in uh, a village uh, where there are not so much uh, uh, disconnection of all the amenities, facilities and the people are still uh, cut away from such so much facilities. Without the villages from Bihar, Uttar Pradesh or other parts of the India or the world but the conditions might be similar and you can connect the condition, some condition can be similar. Uh, if you live in any part of the world and if the condition of the village is like this. But 
I know that in different culture there are different thoughts, religious ceremonies that people live in uh, 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 on different grounds. They have their own feelings, they have their own God and Goddess and accordingly they do all the activities. So I hope you would have enjoyed all these videos and by then take care of yourself. I would be again present with some other topic. If you think this video is very helpful for you, you can share this video. I already told before starting of explaining this video. Uh, so that they can also take advantage and they can carry forward the masses to their to others. By then, take care of yourself. Thank you so much to stay and connect with me.